Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to be reacting to Supergirl Season 5 Episode 7 titled Tremors. So I believe the crossover episode of Supergirl that started the crossover was either 8 or 9 um, or 10. <laughs> I honestly can't remember but basically we're leading up to it. We're in the last few um, moments of just Supergirl before the crossover. So Tremors to me seems like it's going to be kind of the like groundwork for what the crossover is going to be, aka potentially revealing what Levi Leviathan is. Maybe in relation to the Monitor, who we've seen before with the book. He's at the book, you know. Um, maybe they're connected. I don't know enough of the background superhero comic lore to know what that is. Just like all the crossovers in the past, I haven't really known what they were all about, Elseworlds. Crisis on Earth X and the like. Obviously those were like major points in the DC like comic history, but this crossover Crisis on Infinite Earths, like I know is the big one, I guess. In the last episode, we saw a lot of history um, but of Andrea and Lena specifically really humanizing Andrea, making us kind of see like, first of all, that she has powers um, that I guess she just always had, got this medallion that made her thought that, th that she thought made her have the powers, but actually she just had the powers and they were just activated, whatever. Um, so she betrayed Lena, same way kind of that Kara did. So it kind of triggered her and that's why it triggered her the way that it did. Um, Cause it was pretty much a similar situation. We can kind of attribute Lena and Lex's like sort of downfall and falling out to the fact that she never got this medallion for herself to use against Lex. Basically Lena is like super powerful at this point because she has developed the technology, the Q-Wave technology. And so she's threatening people, manipulating people, sent Andrea and Russell on their way. And Russell was shot by, by Leviathan like seconds later. Basically Andrea can't really get away from her commitment that she made to Leviathan and Kara now has that name, so they know that the name is Leviathan now, so they're gonna investigate that. And beyond that, that I mean, it was truly like a really Lena and Andrea-centric backstory type episode. It was very interesting. The DEO has like, I guess, kind of a lead now to start to figure out what's happening. Um, they do not know that Andrea is the superpower shadow lady. Lena does know and Lena is still double crossing pretty much everybody. So that is the recap. Let's jump into this Tremors episode. Ooh, is this the episode where everything finally blows up between them? Possibly. Tremors, definitely. Now it's back. Ugh, I still hate thinking about it. Just watching William Wars' friend hit a little too close to home. Oh girl, you know it's about to hit a lot freaking harder because she is still pissed. <laughs> Give me the medallion. <laughs> She's like, bitch. I don't think so. I play by my own rules now, and she just tried to shoot Lena Luther, and that is not acceptable. Leviathan will attempt to retrieve the medallion at all costs. Yeah, well, we've been new. Why would you provoke them over something of no value? The fact that Leviathan wants it makes it useful. Let's theorize that Superman gifted. She is correct, by the way. That is a very valuable assessment of what is happening here. The fact that they want it back, regardless of if it's lost its power or not is valuable to her. Weapon that was ever used against him. You should cancel the Alcorp event at the park. They will come after you. Let them come. Supergirl will save me. Oh my god. No stakes. <laughs> no fucks Lena is scaring me. This is Lena not giving a exactly single right fuck. She can't provide the help I need. I'll deal with this the Martian way. Mm, I'll deal with this the Martian way. The marshmallow way. What is the Martian way? Meditation? <laughs> we already know what it is. <laughs> Where is Leviathan hiding out? Who is she? Is she an alien? Who's this? Who are these people? Well, since our ship, as big as an asteroid, wiped out the dinosaurs, then humanity rose. I knew they were aliens. That is some Gaborum ass shit. Crash landed here. You can go, Mark. Oh, poor lady. I feel bad for her. His name's Ramakan. I'm just gonna call him the magistrate because that's it's what he is. Tremors. They're hella tremors right now. Oh, there he is. In all of his earthy Gaborum glory, Ramakan. Holy shit, chill. Oh my god. 
catch me. Oh my God, she was like, Supergirl will come catch me. Oh my God. <laughs> we haven't had a bridal style carry in a long time. God bless. Look at her little pants and her little suit. Look at how gay. Where do they get this footage from? Does Supergirl wear a body cam? Is that how they get all these shots? Thank God. Because of this generation's constant need to live stream everything, we've got a clear image of your attacker. And then oh. we I... It was the eighth largest natural disaster in modern history. Precisely. It's good to have you back, Lena. A myth <laughs> It's good to have someone back here that knows what the fuck's going on. Thank you. That this man was the cause. Now, the Yellow River Flood of 1887, the Bola Cyclone, even as far back as Noah's Flood, this earthbender has been spotted. Oh, Earth. Okay, we're gonna straight up call him an Earthbender. So he is like some kind of, like he is a Runaways, Supergirl, Avatar: The Last Airbender hybrid crossover thing, and Legends kind of, because he's been throughout history. And Fringe. This is just a lot of plot lines coming together here. Lots of themes. Excuse me. Did you say Earthbender? How is the word Leviathan occurs six times in the Hebrew Bible? I love this. I love this Raiders of the Lost Ark. I love it. Does it appear in any historical scientific? Will you just go to the fortress and I'll give you a list of every weapon that Lex ever created? Why don't you come with me? Ooh. <laughs> That's like a date. <laughs> remember the strongest, most potent weapon is not. She, ooh, you saw that for a minute in her eye. She was like, shit. She, her feelings bubbled up. Like good feelings. You know what I mean? She was like, starting to like play back like maybe i don't want to be harming supergirl of course why wouldn't it be i don't know luther in the fortress of solitude it's gonna be great but you're gonna need a jacket so cute oh my god so they're obviously gonna fly there so she's just gonna like carry her the whole way right i am trying to move on but it's like i can feel him nearby that's because he is nearby he ain't in the phantom zone what your brother is here he's across town <laughs> Anything? How would how would Marin know that? And like, how would John have access to that information? I don't know. It seems a little convenient. I went. It's Rip Roar. We found him. Thought he was dead. Thought he got shot. It's a trap. They dangled Rip Roar, knowing that we would take the bait, and now we got nothing. You have a slight gash in your skull. <laughs> Yeah. Perfect as always. Alex is not. She's down. What happened to her? What? Why? Oh my god, first date! <laughs> this is not their first date. This is like their 12th millionth date. But this is one special. Breathtaking. How to ring her watch? I'm not left! Hand over the weapons at once, or the fortress will take offensive action in 10 seconds. Um, what's his little name? Can you stop? What's his name? She's on our we are miles beyond those boys with their sticks and their stones. Yes, we are. Mm, are you though? I feel like you're more sophisticated than both of them trying to outright kill each other. You're you're sneaky. Kisha, Cole. I should have. I'm sorry. Next time, I, I will. Next time. <laughs> She's like, fuck. Next time. You can't go back out there until you're 100. percent Oh, well, good that she listened. That's good that she listened. I feel like they balance each other out, you know? Like, I feel like Kelly's like, at least, cause Alex just never takes a step back. She's always like throwing herself into things like full force. And at least Kelly's like, okay, you need to like reel it back in for a second. So your fortress isn't oh, sorry. Remember when we went to Kaznia and the jet was crashing and I was frantic? We remember that scene, oh my God, that was. The, almost the moment. It was the moment. She's gonna tell her that I almost told you. Oh my god. I took to try and save us. That was impressive. How often you saved me without me realizing me. I mean, you're an excellent actress. Mm. You're telling me the truth. We can be honest with each other and all of that is behind us. You too. Mm-hmm. This is me. God, it's coming. It's bubbling. It is bubbling up. You're defeated. You still don't have a medallion and you've lost them. I will fix this. Who is the head honcho here? Which one is it? Is it her? Oh my God. I feel like we think it's him, but. We're all on the same side. They're in the one place on Earth that is not of Earth. How did he know about that? How did you know? I mean, I guess you've been around for a long ass time. The five of its leaders fled. 
One of those leaders has the extraordinary power to bend the earth to his will. There are more of these aliens. We're going to need a really big gun. So there's five leaders that one of them came to earth and they probably have all the elemental abilities. Do you mind if I do it? I've never interfaced with a quantum processor before. It'd be a bit of a thrill. Knock yourself out. Mm, don't let her do anything. Ugh, oh, honey. <sighs> what is she gonna do? It's so. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, I, it can't end well. I feel like it's not gonna be like he sticks around. We couldn't have Red Kara stick around. So he's certainly not gonna stick around. I feel like this is the place to stop because I feel like something's about to go down between the two of them and I need to be prepared. So this is where we will pause and take a break and we'll be back for more of this Supercorp angst in part two. Oh, <laughs>